Hey everyone, Phoenix Sprintaro. So in this reading, we'll just be doing a quick dip into the current energies between Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner. So it's just trying to figure out, um, so Joe Jonas recently announced that he was filing for divorce from Sophie Turner. And since he made the announcement, there've been a number of things coming out in the press, you know, such as, you know, she neglects the children and she's just out drinking all the time. And on cue, a photo emerges of her out for drinks, you know, enjoying herself. Then it um, says that, and then I think another mess, um, article that came out said that Joe Jonas decided to divorce her after spotting something on her doing something or spotting her on a ring camera apparently and then a final me um, message in the press came out saying not to believe anything unless you hear it directly from his lips which sounds like a cleanup to me um, but anyway we will just look into the current energies um, and see what is going on behind the scenes Okay, so first of all, let's start Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels of the Highest Life Frequency. Please protect myself. Please protect those viewing this, read, this reading. I thank you for the viewers in this reading. As, we, as you deliver messages of the highest light frequency regarding this situation, please give us, provide insight that we can take and use and apply to our daily lives and our spiritual growth and journey. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, how should we do this reading? We'll do the reading into Joe Jonas, Sophie Turner. Let's flip the back. <coughs> so Joe Jonas, Sophie Turner. So what's going on behind the scenes? Ah, Wheel of Fortune for Joe Jonas. Sophie Turner, the hangman. Whew, these are major arcana energies that we're getting for both of them. Let me bring you in a bit closer so you can get this action. Okay. Something did happen with this Wheel of Fortune. Something did happen. That much, um, that much is for certain. Something did happen that was out of the blue. And I'm even seeing that the hangman that made him see something out of a completely different perspective. I pick up in this energy and Sophie's energy here, like she has a hangman energy. It's as if someone didn't want to move forward anymore with something. It's as if someone had a different outlook on life or a different perspective. And I'm not picking up with this energy that it's anything sinister per se. I'm picking up growing up, literally. It's just growing up. I'm hearing um, spirit guides are giving me the message Saturn return as well because she's coming up to that age. If she's 27 now, I believe, she's coming up to that age, 27, 28, 29. So that is the Saturn return. So that's where you're beginning to settle and really discover on a spiritual level, on a soul level, from a divine feminine level. It's just getting to that understanding of who you are, you know? And many times as we go through these changes, they're telling me the phrase changes in womanhood. As you're going through these changes, you could be awkward or do things that are awkward or do things that are unexpected or do things that may be frowned upon. You're just exploring and finding yourself, you know, and that's what is coming through strong. Why is it so noisy? My gosh. Like I'm hearing this. Anyway, let me just focus on this. Um, that's what I'm really getting that she's going through. Yeah. And I'm also picking up, it's interesting, I'm picking up more energy from her than I am from him. But the energy that I'm picking up from her as well is that these changes is something that she is meant to be going through. It's that time of her life to be going through. Yeah, let, let's just do a bit more. So for him, Eight of Swords, look at that. Eight of Swords. Ay, ay, ah. Look at the dark horizon, the dark cloud of the horizon, both of them penned in. These are people who are not happy. He, Joe Jonas, is not happy. What do we have for her? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Prince of Wands. With her, there is someone who is very fiery, very... They have very different... They are in very different planes and different stages of their lives. Very different very very different i am picking up a lot of passion a lot of self-discovery here here i'm picking up a lot of darkness 
Like someone wanted to be liberated, someone wanted out of something, someone is aspiring to something more, is what I'm getting here with um, this Prince of Wands energy. Yeah. Whereas there's just someone, um, this is your Jonas's energy, this is a lot of turmoil, a lot of not knowing what to do, a lot of anxiety, a lot of shame and feeling embarrassed as well. I'm picking up that two people who are not listening to each other. They've just grown so distant from one another. Like they don't, um, spirit guys are saying they don't recognize each other anymore in this. Oh, now, chariot in the middle. Both of them are happy for this to be done. Like, no one wants in on this. I do feel that Joe Jonas feels a bit, he is in his feelings a bit more regarding this. Like, he's very upset, very troubled regarding this, angry, as a matter of fact. Whereas with the chariot card, between them, both of them are just happy to move on and leave this marriage. For sure. We're getting that with the chariot. With these two horses, both of them are, exactly, this is what I was picking up, look, night and day, black and white, night and day, they're two very different people, and they are more than happy to go their ways, there is no rescuing this um, relationship and this situation, there isn't any of that, that's just it. Ooh. Oh, okay, this is, the, this is the background in the lead up to this situation that we're looking at here, and we have a lover's card. Now, if two people are married, would we necessarily get the lover's card like this? Let me get a clarifier for this. Queen of Wands. <sighs> King of Swords. Interesting. This is... My question would be here... Sophia's not the age where she will be appearing as a queen. I don't get from her energy she's in her queen phase yet. This is because of her age, true, but I'm not picking up that spiritual, emotional maturity for her to be a queen. Joe Jonas, I'm not picking up on, well, he could be given his status and so on, but I'm not immediately, king energy doesn't come up when I think of Joe Jonas. And we have the lover's hair. So... Okay, we have an Ace of Wands, right, and a Prince of Cups. And notice that for both the Prince of Cups and the Ace of Wands, we have that staff, that phallic symbol going on there again as well. I wouldn't be surprised looking at this with the Prince of Cups and the Ace of Wands, whether... This is pointing towards a chitation in the situation, like either someone stepped out or there was an agreement that they could step out or, or someone did, you know, you know, sometimes when, you, when you're out and you get drunk and, you know, things happen, like you happen to kiss someone or something along those lines. But because this lovers is just, I'm just being drawn to it so strongly. Let me get another deck and let's see if I could pull a few clarifiers here. It's pretty guys by the angels. Could we get some clarifiers as to what's in the background of this? Could we get some clarifiers as to what is for the reason for this separation? Please clarify the lover's card. Please clarify the lover's card. Oh, we have the page again. This is all, and we have the queen of wands again here. We have the Queen of Wands twice. I wonder if this is family getting involved in this or whether there was family involved in here some, because this Queen energy, this Queen of Wands, this is separate decks and the Queen of Wands has, have come up, has come up twice. I don't know whether Sophie probably, and it's coming up on Sophie's side, I don't know whether Sophie has an older sister, whether it's a mother, whether it's some family figure, whether there is somebody involved here, but there is a mature woman energy, someone who is very passionate, someone who knows what they want but whatever the situation is we have deceit that has come out here with the seven of swords so this is in the background what has led up to this is some sort of deceit someone felt that they got away with something or someone was sneaking around 
And the thing with the Seven of Swords is that they always feel that they get away with stuff, but many times they get found out. It's like, it's a very underhanded sort of energy is what I'm picking up. And then we have the Page of Pentacles as I'm shuffling that's come through again. What else to clarify this, lovers? And we have a King of Swords. This time the King of Swords is reverse. And again, we have a King of Swords here as well. So we have two Kings of Swords, two King of Swords. And the Queen of Wands came out twice and I'm using different decks. So I would like to know who these mature individuals are. I'm not picking up that they are um, Joe Jonas and Sophie. I'm not picking up that it's them. But it seems as though there are other parties involved in this lover's situation. Can you provide more clarity as to who this king and queen are? Spirit of God and Angels, please provide clarity on who these king... If any of you guys know who this king and queen of swords could be on any of their sides, do say. But I, I really don't know. I'm not as close to Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner. I'm not close enough to know who this king and queen of swords could be. But I know with a Prince of Cups, though, Prince of Cups talks about someone, especially with the Scorpion, that they're drawing that they're drawing me to. There is someone here who comes across as very, I'm picking up a male energy, and they come across as very charismatic. Very, I think it's, um, they come across as very charismatic. They could also not think things through, and they could get caught up in their emotions, like caught up in the feeling of the moment, especially with Cups energy. I'm always seeing like someone got a bit out one night, they got a bit drunk or had too much to drink, and like a mistake happened. Yeah, and with the Page of Swords and with the World card, yeah, this is it, with the Page of Swords and the World and the Hierophant, it's like someone went out one night, probably had a, a, a bit too much to drink, and like a situation happened that is being talked about and is currently being suppressed from the rest of the world that um, has threatened the sanctity with this high priest, the sanctity of their marriage. And it appears to be on Sophie's side. And we have the Queen of Swords under the deck. There is some mature energy that I'm seeing that's coming through here as to the reason for this. But this lover's hair, yeah. In the next few days, we are going to have a better idea as to what this situation is with the Eight of Wands. Reason being, I'm wondering if these are PR people as well, who want to put a spin on it or cover it. I don't know who these mature people are, who this man is, who this woman is, I don't know. But whatever it is, there is some like moment of passion, something took place that was... Yeah, that shouldn't have happened with the Seven of Swords. It's a moment of deceit. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Like someone is in a new relationship or someone wants to move on into a new relationship. So you never know, someone may eventually step out. Yeah, with the Ace of Cups, it's talking about something new. There's a lot of cups, there's a lot of water, there's a lot of emotion energy here. Anything further? Anything further that we ought to know that we haven't covered? Anything further that we ought to know but haven't covered? They are not getting back together at all. That is absolutely not. I, I'm just really baffled. They're not telling me who this King of Swords and Queen of Wands are. But with this lovers in the background and an Ace of Wands, we have two Aces on the board and we know that they are moving on from each other. So either someone has moved forward already and they've moved on already. Moved on with someone else. We are not seven of cups and nine of swords. Joe Jonas is properly gutted because of this. Like, they've had their issues, and in the lead up to this, they were on shaky ground for a couple of months. But I'm picking up that he was really trying with this. He really was trying. But I am picking up bitterness and hurt from his side. So it's almost as if he feels something was perpetrated against him. I'm getting a lot of bitterness energy here. And especially with the King of Swords here, 
if it's not mature people who are in their air, either their PR team or family, if this king and queen of wands don't represent them, then it's, you know, mature people or family people and that sort of thing, then it could be the energies that each of them are engaging in and taking on at this time. And if that is the case, then with the king of swords, I'm picking up someone who is very decisive to the point of being brutal. Like, this is someone who, Joe Jonas has that, that's what I'm saying, he has that bitterness energy, where in this context, he will, he is willing to go to war. You want to play this game? Let's play. And we've already seen him doing that with these stories that are being put out in the press about her wanting to drink all the time, an image being leaked of her out drinking, an image or a video of leaked, like, that is that King of Swords energy. That is that King of Swords strategizing, take energy, I will cut you down before you cut me down kind of energy, right? And if she is embodying that Queen of Wands energy over here, you have someone who knows their value, knows their worth, knows what they're about, and they're standing strong in it. And especially with a hangman next to a queen of wands, this is somebody, as I said before, and I channeled this earlier, they're coming into their own. I just see with Sophie Turner, irrespective of what she's done, I'm not condoning, I'm, in fact, I'm not passing judgment or taking sides on this or not condoning any sort of behavior, but I can't help but picking up just someone, because I believe she was married at the age of 23, which was fairly young. I just see somebody coming into her own, coming into her own sense of being a woman, and that's what the Queen of Wands is all about. A Queen of Wands is somebody who is finding herself, who's coming into her divine feminine, who is emerging into understanding and knowing who she is who wants that sexual liberation and freedom and the freedom to know their own mind and operate the way they want to without the confines of society's programming and everything else. That's more what I see happening over here. But Joe Jonas ain't having any of it. But there is such an age gap and an age divide between them as well. Because on her side, we, keep, we get a lot of pages. We have, well, we have a lot of princes on her side, you know, which talks about someone being young. And I think what... What's the age gap between them? I'm not sure what the age gap between them is, but they are on different levels. There is something about different levels of maturity coming through here. And it's as if Sophie Turner was much younger and much more naive is what I'm picking up than Joe Jonas when they got married. And somewhere along the process of this marriage, it's like she's changed and she's coming into her own and this marriage and what he expects and the premise on which they got together doesn't suit her, doesn't work for her anymore. And that's not what he's expected. It's as if his ego has been dented by this also. Hence putting out in the press that I am the one looking after the kids, even though I'm on tour and, oh, I know more about their issues than I, than I think I know, actually. <laughs> but, you know, but that's the reason why all of that is coming. You have someone who is determined to take the high road of, on this and paint himself to be so morally superior. That's what's been coming out. And he's saying, unless it comes out of his lips, don't believe it. But from looking at his energy, I'm picking up that, and especially with this King of Swords, he was behind those stories that were out. I think he has come out with a later statement of, if it didn't come from my lips, don't believe it. I think he came out with that statement after getting backlash on someone judging a mother and putting out those stories about her just wanting to drink. Because the stories didn't sound very right. Oh, I'm just going to abandon my children and I just want to drink all the time. I mean, there was something about it that had a bit of bitterness and a bitter edge to it. And with this King of Swords energy and with this eight of sword energy that's come up with him and with this seven of cups energy that's in joe jonas's space yeah this is a lot of anger a lot of bitterness a lot of blame is in joe jonas's energy yep and we have the mm, yeah this lovers seeing the amount of bitterness and so on the situation leading into this with the lovers yeah okay guys so i think you all have got it i am going to leave it there let me know what you guys think regarding the current situation between them, and I will see you guys in future readings. Bye for now.